Hey guys, Gossip and Reactions, Marie's Take. Not only we have seen women are taking BBL to the extreme to change their body shape, to give them a, a bigger bump, uh, a bigger breast set, but at the same time, some people just taking it too far and um, some of them have gone wrong, you know? The bigger you go, the crazier it looks and i have seen a few videos of women that have that have you know taken it to the next level in a wrong way let me tell you something i don't want to enhance anything in my body what is my backside front side and let me tell you something i breastfed all my four children so of course you can just imagine. <laughs> it is what it is. Naturally, everything there in place. Okay? I will not go under the surgery to please any man or to please anybody. At one point, I said, uh, maybe I should have a breast lift. Because after feeding four children, things are not looking up north. <laughs> if you want to imagine that, whatever. You do whatever you want to do. But at the same time, I saw one time I was watching the news, a mother of four kids went under some local anesthesia to have some kind of breast implant. And she got some kind of allergic reaction to the local anesthesia. She never woke up. She died. And that picture gets into my head. I said, you know what? It is what it is. If a man really wants me for me, love me for me, he's going to have to take me just the way I am. I am not going to go under any kind of knife to please anybody. And most of the time, let me tell you guys, the guys are looking for natural women. They don't want all that extra extreme butt back there or the t the titties sometimes are on the way and i have heard if you have um breast implant you don't have that kind of sensation in your nipples so if the man is trying to make love to you trying to you know do their thing you're not going to feel it because there was no sensation there so hello why are we trying to look a certain way and not even getting the job done yes I'm not trying to criticize anyone to which is on. If you have money, you can afford it. Look, if it's medically needed, with all my wishes, nothing but the best, go ahead. You have the money. You can afford it. If that will bring some kind of self-esteem to your life to make you feel better about yourself, go ahead. But sometimes it seems like, People are taking it to the next level. I saw this lady dancing on stage with two big fat thigh. It looked like somebody put two big turkey leg in there dancing and with some skinny little legs. I asked myself once, how does women get those big thigh? <laughs> now I get to find out they inject fat in there wow like cardi b was on stage in vegas about a month ago and she has those fat thigh skinny waist like an ant and big breasts and i asked myself why how they get those fat thigh Whew. let's take a deep breath okay some of the ladies that the surgery went wrong it looks terrible because you see this big back back there it's not proportionally equal and the leg doesn't match they even have a song on that that the leg don't match the leg looked skinny and back there it looked like a big ant you know ant a n t it's like a the little small insect that go on the floor that bite people. Those ants that have big, bat, skinny waist. 
And this time we cannot criticize black women because every women are doing it. Whether it's white women, Asian women, uh, black women, Hispanic women, everybody is getting into the saga. Now, one young lady said she regret getting that done and she had to go remove everything. Why? Because when you have that surgery done, when the men are looking at you, they sexualizing you as a one night stand thing. They will never take a woman like this to their mom, to meet their mom, to be married, to be the, the future mother of the kids. It's just to have fun. You know, it's just a one night stand or a few months having fun, but they are not willing to take you to the next level. Okay. The young lady said you cannot wear a regular suits if you want to go for an interview. The only clothes that fit for you are sheen clothes and um, what's this one? Fashion Nova. Because those are elastic like. They're easy to fit into your big back and big tatas. And why are we doing this to ourselves? And let me tell you something. Some women have done surgeries, BBL, butt lift, Brazilian, whatever they call it. And it looks proportional. It looks reasonable. You know, it's, it, it looks normal and natural. If they don't tell you they had anything done, you wouldn't even dare to think about it. It's the people. The women that are taking it to the next level. Have they waist so small? We move the weaves there. Make it look so small there and have this big back. Now the thigh thing is too much. Enough is enough. You cannot tell me you're comfortable with something that was not there. You were not born with that. And it's going to create some problem later on. Okay, right now you're in your 20s, you're in your 30s. Everything looking amazing or feeling amazing in your opinion. Because in the public eyes, it looks crazy, outrageous, and disgusting to some people. So let's say you hit 50. So you're going to go around with this big tata standing there, don't move. And your backside, two blocks down. It just doesn't make sense, yeah. It's not right. If you have to do it medically needed, just do it in a reasonable way that it looks like this is you, you know. You're happy, you know it's not you, but only you know it's not you. But for some reason, some people go to the extreme. You can tell this is this is not natural. And we have Nicki Minaj, we have Cardi B, we have, um, no, Sexy Red seems to be natural. I don't think she's done anything yet. I hope she stays like that because, oh my God, it will go to the extreme. So we have all those young ladies. Some of them, I don't even know their names. I know they're rappers doing the most to have the backside two blocks down and the front side two blocks ahead. Why? And let me tell you something. Sometimes... You're doing all that and the men still cheat on you. Look at Cardi B. She's expecting her third child allegedly with her husband. And her husband also allegedly have a side chicks pregnant. So it's not working out in your favor to put your life at risk to have BBL and then have tattoos done and the men still cheat on you. And one guy said something that I respect. He said, one of the YouTubers that was reporting on women going to the extreme when it comes to BBL, they looking really like cartoon characters. He said, natural women do not get affected by that. Do not look at those women to make, so they make you feel bad as if you're not equal or you're not pretty enough. And one of the nurses said something that is so true. One of the nurses said, one nurse went to have the surgery done. It's like they become in a little uh, group that are telling you, okay, I have had this done. I feel and look amazing. You should go have it too. And they tell one another, so-and-so did it, so-and-so did it. And this one, go have it done. That one. And before you know it, all the women in the office ended up having the BBL and the lip injection and everything else done and look so unnatural, look so fake, look so cartoonish. For what? For what? Why are you trying so hard? And some of them, naturally, they were looking so beautiful. 
so amazingly nice looking beautiful women but because of the lip injection because of the back side and the front side the augmentation of everything they look so fake and unrealistic it is not right stop you are beautiful just the way you are you don't have to add anything that was not there initially and if medically needed that's fine but if not appreciate yourself love yourself and like kylie jenner you surprise people are saying negative things about your look because you don't look natural you don't look normal that's why they are talking about it like oh my god something needs to stop women that have done the surgery are encouraging other women to do it and some of the women say well i have got it done because i want to please my men that's a lie it's a competition is to compete against women women against women i look better than you i got my done here my is well done yours is botched this and that oh my god can we stop with those surgeries we look like animal we look like cartoon characters we don't look normal in south beach in miami you could see five girls sitting down at a table they all look like they are siblings the same plumped lip the same big behind small waist and oh god big tatas why enough is enough appreciate and love yourself the minute men and women realize what matters in life is your health your family then you'll stop spending money to look like somebody something else that you are not and later on can put your life in danger because you put in too much or you removed it's just too much it's just too much it needs to stop subscribe let me know how you feel do you want a natural woman or you want bbl or, or for this guy in this case from five feet six to six feet eight and a butt lift for a man i don't know what's in it for him subscribe let me know how you feel it's a long video but it's worth it because i just don't understand why women are risking their life to look a certain way like instagram model and for what for what if anything will be done and work properly i would have to say the men stick if it's not proportionally big enough strong enough or able to do the job if you can get that surgery done without any kind of risk i would say man i'll support you go go for it but it is what it is whatever god bless you with you make it work and do what you can to please woman that's it you don't have to go under the knife to look taller and to have a bigger butt as a man for what who are you trying to please subscribe let me know how you feel thank you yeah bye